Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends video. So, first of all, don't mind my voice if it sounds different a little bit. I did get sick, which is why I've also not been uploading too much recently, but uh, I am sick. But I wanted to make this video about the update, the kind of mini reworked or reworked Ari on the PBE server, because there's some decent changes actually to her uh, over here right now. So if you're not aware, if you haven't seen it, I thought I'd make, you know, a relatively quick-ish video giving you just exactly what you need to know. And uh, yeah, so let's just get this party started. If you enjoyed the video, by the way, guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. Hey guys, so this video is sponsored by Buff. Buff is a loyalty program that rewards players for simply playing their favorite games. So you can see there's a massive list of games that it supports. The ones that we care about, of course, League of Legends, Teamfight Tactics, maybe some Valorant action, but so many other games are supported as well, like Counter-Strike, Fortnite, Warzone, Etc. So the cool thing is, as you download the app, which is free by the way, you just simply play your favorite games like League of Legends and you collect buff points using their app. And then once you play enough and collect enough points, you can redeem them for a bunch of rewards, such as Steam credits, Blizzard, or RP credits. You can get skins, you can get game keys, Nintendo eShop gift cards, and so much more. And the cool thing is, it's extremely easy to use. You literally don't have to do anything. Just open the app and just play your favorite games. And that's literally it, guys. So make sure you check it out down below. It's literally free to use and you get free rewards just for playing your games. Pretty damn cool. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to check it out. But let's get on. Uh, the video. Going over the changes first. Let's go over them first, and I'll show you guys how they look like in game and whatnot. So, <clears throat> let me actually quickly spawn the minions just so we have those minions because we can we need to use them. So, starting off with her W, the buffs. The damage has been increased on her W. The base damage by twenty. The mana cost has been severely reduced, almost by half. The flame duration by half as well. So what that means is, you know, when you press your W, this flame duration around you. You have a much less, you have to essentially activate it and let those flames fly on like a champion, a minion, whatever, in half the duration. So you have less time to just kind of sit with it. You have to just use it when you're really going to use it, which is fine because the movement speed duration has been increased by half a second, which is great. And a nice little updated visual effect. All in all, a massive buff in my opinion, as long as you just use this properly um, and you don't like, you know, sort of misuse it, mistime it, whatever, uh, it's going to be actually working quite fantastically. So you can just activate it and the damage has been increased, the AP ratio has been increased, apparently even, no, that was for the Q, never mind, I like JK, forget what I said, her Q AP ratio was increased even further. But a nice clean, uh, you know, change to her W, her ultimate and her passive combination is where the biggest change is by far. So with her ultimate, the duration is now 15 seconds as opposed to 10 seconds, which is good, gives you more time to kind of, you know, do your thing, which I think is actually quite strong because you have so much more time to just play with her ultimate now, which is essentially like the bread and butter of her uh, her kit, which is really good. But the biggest change is here. Consuming a champion's essence with essence theft, which is a passive, while her ultimate is active, extends its recast duration by up to 10 seconds, which is really good, and grants an additional cast of Spirit Rush up to 3 stores. So from what I understand, you can have technically 6 total casts of spirit rush because you get three by default you get the first one that you initially use as you cast the ultimate you have two extras that you just automatically get and then if you essentially pretty much the way it works if you're, if you're not really you know understanding of it if you get a takedown within three seconds of damaging a champion and that champion dies within three seconds of you damaging them or being you know the person that kills them you not only heal for 206 HP, but you also get this uh, increase in her ultimate's duration and an extra charge per champion. It's almost like a Tristana W, if that makes sense, I guess, or like a Katarina's passive, you know, but it's cat that three. But nonetheless, that's pretty ridiculous. So her ultimate essentially has a reset timer now, which is insanely strong in my opinion, and that's gonna open up an insane amount of potential for her in team fights and just to create stuff essentially around the map huge 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 buff to her ultimate like a massive buff to her ultimate this is really really damn good so i really like that at all a, a, a lot actually uh so some nerfs to make this not completely broken her health uh has been the uh, per level rather has been reduced you can see here the health regeneration has been severely reduced which makes sense because by the way um her passive if you look at down here it does actually heal more so you heal for 125 now where you obtain nine fragments and you get a fragment by simply killing a monster or minion which could be good for the jungle by the way because this thing will, this camp will give you like a full stack of that pretty much um but it heals you a lot more now per instance it's a bit harder to actually get stacks as before it was just damaging an enemy now you have to actually kill an enemy or like a monster or a minion um but you heal a lot more when this when it does happen so that's the trade-off there 
Um, so that's why the health regeneration has been lowered, her armor has been lowered, and the Q mana cost has actually been slightly increased, which is fine. Uh, well, actually decreased level 1, but it's increased as you rank it up, which is fine. So this is the passive I was talking about, which is literally what I just talked about in general, right? You get uh, a much more healing now when you kill a champion, or a minion, or a monster. Um, but it's just, it'll happen a bit less frequently than before, so... I think it's overall worth it. It's an adjustment, yeah, that's why it's in, it's in the adjustment section, not like a buff or a nerf. Because it's a buff and a nerf at the same time, it just depends on, you know, what aspect or what angle you're looking at it from, essentially. And then you have your E ability, so no longer, by the way, does it give you the 20% damage amplification on the target, that's gone entirely. But, the mana cost is reduced, which is great. But more importantly, the damage has been buffed a decent amount. You can see the 20 base damage increase and a 20% AP ratio as well. So um, this makes this ability technically just by itself stronger, but as a kit, weaker. But I think this is better overall. And the reason I say that is because it makes the kit more well-rounded. Because before, her kit kind of revolved around just you have to land the E. If you land the E, your damage is great. If you miss the E, your damage is mediocre. It, just, it pretty much just all stemmed off of your E. Do you land your E or not? That's essentially what the kit was. Now it's like landing the E is still obviously amazing and you obviously still want to land it, but it's not as detrimental to the rest of the kit if you don't land it. Um, but it's not as insanely broken if you do land it. I think it's better personally. It makes her much less of like a almost like a one trick pony E ability, you know, champion. So that's the, the way that's gonna work. So, um, and then they actually add, added a bit more things here, like your QAP ratio is now 45% uh, and whatnot. So that's pretty cool as well. So essentially the way it looks is like, let's go to the here. We'll, we'll kill some minions if I can actually last it properly. Okay, so this, this might take a little bit. Let's, let's um, there we go. So you can see I have three stacks, right? So again, it only functions off of getting kills. Like if I just throw my Q, I got one stack there because I actually killed a minion, but you can see it's still at four. Like I'm not getting stacks unless I actually kill a minion or a monster. So we can go here, for instance, and kill some monsters as well, right? Same concept. Like you only get us yet just healed, but you're only getting it as you kill stuff down, not as you damage stuff. But you get a lot of stacks just in this camp alone, which is good, which can actually make Ari jungle a thing, literally just because of this camp and potentially this camp because there's so many units constantly, so you can get your passive stack really fast, uh, which could be really powerful. Um, <clears throat> so again, her E ability, just more damage overall. Uh, her W, just much uh, less time to actually use it, but just overall a better ability, just you have to actually use it in the right time frame now. And again, the biggest change is, of course, her ultimate, you can see now it has, you know, has like the stacks underneath her HP bar, which I don't remember if it was there before. You have more time to use it. The cooldown you can see here is counting down much, much slower. And unfortunately, I can't kill dummies, but if you kill a champion uh, within three seconds, of course, or you get an assist within three seconds, it increases the uh, cast time on this by up to 10 seconds and gives you another stack, up to three stacks total, apparently, that you can store, um, which is pretty insane. Uh, I don't think you can exceed three, so if you have like two, and then you kill like two champions within each, each other. You don't get like up to four stacks now. I think it caps at three. But I'm assuming you can actually just keep maybe doing it. So you can go to one stack, kill a champion, go to two stacks, use the ultimate, kill a champion, and then do it again and again and again. That'd be pretty cool too. So I don't think you can exceed three total, right? So you can't get, can't go down from three to two, use the ultimate, right? Go to two stacks, kill three champions, and go to like five or six stacks or whatever. That doesn't seem like it's the case, as far as I'm aware. Um, but either way, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Pretty ridiculous changes coming to Ari. Let me know what you think about them down below. I think they're insanely good buffs. Makes the champion, I think, overall just more like well-rounded to play. Just feels better, I think, overall as well. Doesn't feel like a one-trick pony with her E ability, which is a big buff in my opinion as well. Her ultimate is honestly a lot stronger now, especially with this passive. And yeah, I think these are really good changes. And if you're an Ari main, you should definitely be happy with this. So let me know what you guys think about it down below. But I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.